everybody, Amber here from Atomic. Today I'm going to be taking you through a few ways in which I'm using style references to create images in mid-journey. There's a few ways in which I do it. So there's personalization, there are style reference codes themselves, and then there are also image to image style references. So I'm gonna take you through each of those methods. So let's dive into mid journey. So as you can see, I'm on the create page at the moment and I have unlocked some style reference codes already, but I'll come back to those in a second. Let's, let's go to personalization first. So in personalize on this page, you have the ability to create your own profile in Midjourney, and that is you select from pairs of images that Midjourney shows you, and you tell and train Midjourney in your preferences of the style of the images that you like. And the other way is to create a mood board where you can either upload images, um, a consistent set of images that you want to then apply those styles into your images, or you can put it in as URL links but let's start with creating a standard profile. So I'm just gonna very quickly go through this and I'm just gonna click on the image that I prefer out of the two images. So here we've got, do you want something a bit more Banksy style or do you like a bit more fantasy? Uh, we've got <laughs> plastic dolls and I might skip this one, I'm not sure. Oh, that's gorgeous, I love flowers. I like a bit of glossy fashion and the macabre. I like the cleanness of that image, the cleanness of this image. I'm mainly creating pictures of people, so I tend to default to people images. I like surrealism. I love flowers. I'm obsessed with flowers. I love my fashion photography. And so you start to train mid-journey in your preferences. So we can see here and we can start to see that we just go through this. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so that we're not sat here. It's a little bit boring for you guys. Now what this does is it creates a profile code that you can use yourself but also you can start to share with other people as well. So if you're working on creative projects and you have multiple people working together, then this is the way that you can start to create images with similar styles. So let's try this out. So I've got a prompt in here, fashion portrait of a brunette model, a simple beauty editorial in the style of Vogue Beauty. So let's hit enter on this and see what we get. Now at the moment it's called profile four. When you are in the personalized page, you can actually name your profiles different things. So you can see I've created some mood boards here. I had a profile that I had made before. I have a global profile, which is the default profile when I turn on personalization when I'm prompting that this global profile comes up. But we can Maybe we can name this once we've seen the output of what we're getting. So you can see that this is a very sort of editorial, very soft portrait look, very big eyes, very big lips. Those are the sorts of images that I was selecting when I was creating that profile. So you can have lots of fun with this and you can create your own profiles and you can choose different images and image sets each time to create a very specific stylistic profile. So that's personalized. Now, if we go into personalization, but creating a mood board, let me show you what we've got here. So you can upload images from your computer. You can add URL links from across the web and you can add images that you've created already from your own gallery. So let's do this. So I've got a number of images that I've created and I'm going to come into some of the Asian bridal type imagery that I had created a while back. I'm going to go much further back and here we are. So 
I'm going to use these sort of golden hour sunsetty sort of Asian images. I'm going to use this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Let's select some of these through. Let's go back to the mood board and that will have all of our images that we've selected here. So now we've got our images in our mood board. Now we can copy the code to this mood board and put it in our prompt. So let me go back to the create page and if I take that same prompt that I had before, I'm going to now replace this profile with my new mood board and let's see what we create now. So now you can see that what we've created are very different with the same prompt but a different profile we've created some very different looking images but they've all got that consistent feel from my mood board. So that's how we can personalise and create style references for prompts going forward using our standard profiles and creating mood boards. So now let's come into the style reference unlocking. So if I take this text and style reference codes are something that are built into Midjourney and you kind of have to reveal them. Now there are other users who have been revealing some of these codes and they've got libraries of them and I'll link some of them below. But the way that you can do this on Midjourney yourself is to put style ref, S-R-E-F, and then just type the word random. Now this is going to give you a random style reference, but you'll start to see as your images start to create and render what that style reference will look like. And it's quite fun and exciting to do. If I show you, so you can see here that it, a lot of red, yellow, candy, circles, there's red glossy lipstick. So let's rerun that prompt and that profile. And actually I've got my global profile and the profile that we just created on. So I'll get rid of some of those and we'll see what the actual style reference looks like. So use this text, I'm going to use sref. And then if I go into my parameters, I'm going to turn off personalize. When it is on, you can use, you can combine some of your mood boards and your style references here, but I'm just going to turn that off so that we can see what the actual style reference code is doing itself. And you can see that this style reference code is still very pink, red, yellow, glossy makeup. Let's rerun that again. And you can see the difference between when I used my profile of how I had trained Midjourney. It gives a slightly different output to when I don't use those profiles. You can see it's got a slight sort of Japanese feel to it as well. And so that's a style reference that you can use going forward. So let's use that text again and I'll just show you another example of unlocking sref and typing the word in random. And so this has come out a little bit more sort of 1970s with some flair and some interesting sort of light distortion in the images. But it looks quite 1970s matte film sort of look. I'll rerun that prompt so that we can see how it applies and generates. So, so yeah, so it's given us a, a sort of a grainy film look as well. Now let's try that, this style reference code. I quite like it. Let's try it with a different prompt. So let me take a, you guys know that I have quite complicated prompts, but let's take this gorgeous Girl portrait covered in vines and roses, Alexander McQueen, Dolce & Gabbana, hyper-realistic, tarot art. I'm going to take out in the style of atomic photography, which is my style of 
uh, photography, Baroque, ethereal, etc. So I'm going to take that prompt and then I'm going to apply this style reference code and let's see what we get now. So now you can see that I've got a girl covered in vines and roses, but you've got these interesting light flares and the matte look of the 70s film sort of thing going on. So it's really fun to be able to look at these style references and apply a treatment to your own prompts. I'll show you a little bit of what I've done in the past and I was unlocking some style reference codes here. You can see I've got again a very matte grainy film look but it's very dusty pink, very blush oriented. You've got something here that looks more like anime. Also here very vampy looking anime type of output. And then I tried a style reference here and it was really interesting what it gave me was portrait images but with this sort of illustrative pen markings, architecture sort of drafting things and so I applied that to a surrealist building in the desert and it's really interesting because you can see that the style reference comes through here, the pencil markings, the, the denotation and so I've got that here, here, here on these sort of, this is the prompt literally was just a surrealist building in the desert. But when I apply it to the fashion portrait of a brunette, it comes out like this. But you can see that there's a very consistent style going on in the imagery. So coming back into create mode, what we can then do is we can take some of these images and if we click on this image, we can use this image as a style as well. So it's image to style reference. So if I click on style, it puts this image into my prompt. So I can then start to create a prompt that says a blonde woman, a soft portrait in a white snowscape backdrop and using this image then as the style reference as well. So let's see what that will create for us. And so you can see that we've now got a blonde woman, it's a soft portrait but the original image style is what's been overlaid onto our prompt. So let me show you a little bit of the mood boards that I've created already. Now, this is a mood board that I created using images that I've prompted myself in the past. So these are all images that I've had in the past. So if I take Himalaya Bride, I copy that code and I go into create mode Let's take this blonde woman portrait and let's add in the mood board style reference that I had. And you can see how different the same prompt can look with a different style reference over it. So you can see the similarity between some of these images, the clothing, the intricate designs, they really match up to the Himalaya Bride mood board that I have here. So you can see the references that I had in here. So there's a few really cool ways in which you can personalize your prompts, your, your style, you can teach mid-journey your style, you can create mood boards for particular styles for projects, and you can unlock style reference codes by using sref random. I hope this has been useful for you guys and that you'll start to experiment with style references yourself. Do let me know how it goes in the comments and for more content like this do give me a follow and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>